Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today we are going to be talking about a revolving savings fund. You might also know this as a sinking fund. I just prefer the term revolving because I think it just sounds a little bit nicer I guess or more positive but you can use either term either way. It it serves the same purpose but anyways so a revolving savings account is basically an account a savings fund where you set money aside a little bit at a time for a bigger expense in the future i'd like to think of this more as a uh, short-term goal maybe something you're saving for for one to two years it's meant to kind of help you out in your budget if you're your monthly budget can't handle these specific expenses in the month. So for example, a good example of this is maybe like a membership that you have to pay for um, annually and your budget right now, let's say in your paycheck right now cannot handle it. So instead you would want to set maybe save a little bit at a time. So maybe $10 every month leading up to that big expense later on. Um, in the year so that's one of the great benefits of having or using a revolving savings account is that you don't have to pay for a big chunk of an expense in your one paycheck budget um, for the month instead you can just save little by little and use it in the future so another benefit of this is that if you're on a debt payoff journey if you save for the things that matter to you you plan for it accordingly you are less likely to accrue more debt so instead you're going to be using your savings account to fund those purchases that matter to you instead of relying on your credit card i know for sure this was a big game changer for us our first ever revolving savings account was our christmas fund i know christmas spending is one of the expenses in the year that we tend to spend a lot of and i know our paychecks in November and December cannot handle all of that spending so we need to be able to save for that way early in advance in order to fund all of the Christmas expenses. I think the revolving savings account can be an absolute game changer for you and your budget and there are a couple ways to set this up. You are, if you prefer to use cash, you can totally set them up using cash envelopes. However, the steps that I'm going to be walking you through is going to be um, using online savings accounts because that is what I use. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love and use a Capital One 360 checking account. I have a couple of videos um, walking you through the process if you want to check that out. I do want to go over the steps here in this video um, for those of you maybe who just stumbled across this video right now. So step number one, you want to determine what your savings categories are going to be. You don't want to just be saving saving blindly without a purpose. You want to make sure that you're saving for something that is a priority for your life. A couple of ways to determine this is maybe to track your expenses or maybe go through and see what your expenses are throughout the year and see what are the expenses that are throwing you off budget the most. You don't have to have a bunch of different savings account at first. Start with the ones that have the biggest impact in your life. Like I said, for myself, that was Christmas. And then slowly later on, we were starting to realize like oh we need to start a savings account maybe for the kids because of all their sports that they're doing activities that they're doing um, needing to buy them new shoes because they're outgrowing and shoes are not always that that cheap and um, they're always outgrowing and you know always needing something with these kids so uh, we do have a kid savings account something also I highly recommend if you own a vehicle is to have a vehicle maintenance fund because having a car means you got to take care of it you got to pay for the vehicle registration which isn't cheap um, and you want to make sure you have that that saved up um, also you don't have to go all out and go crazy and opening up like 10 savings account when you don't you don't even know what those savings accounts are so um, think about what your savings categories are first start with the one that is going to make the biggest impact in your life right now so step number two you're going to open up a high yield savings account now why a high yield savings account why not just a regular savings account with maybe wells fargo bank of america or chase and the reason for that is because having it at a brick and mortar bank or savings account you're not going to earn all that much interest if you're going to be saving a little bit at a time and going to keep it in there for like a year six months maybe even two years you want to accrue at least some kind of dollars or earn it interest on the money that's sitting there versus the 0.01 percent that you'll be earning with 
Wells Fargo. I bank with Wells Fargo right now and I totally opened up a bunch of savings account with them and then realized later on like wait I can just let me open up a high yield savings account uh, where I earn 3% which is so much better right so um i know it's not going to be a game changer it's not meant to be like i don't plan to let my money sit in there and then just accrue money but while it is sitting in a savings account before i use it might as well accrue some kind of dollars in there right so that's why i highly recommend a high yield savings account and the one that i use is uh, capital one 360 savings i have a checking account with them and i also have a couple of savings accounts as well um there's also alibank so with theirs, you don't have to open up multiple savings account. You can just have one savings account and it's just have different savings buckets. So open up a high yield savings account and if the bank allows for it, go ahead and rename the accounts to the specific budget categories that you have so that when you are putting money in there, it just makes it a lot easier to know where this money is going and then when it's time to spend, you know exactly where to take it out from. It just makes it a whole lot easier in my opinion. Okay, so moving on to step number three, I think this is one of my favorites because I'm just a budget planning nerd, is to create a savings plan. So once you know what your savings categories are, come up with a goal for that and then create a savings plan. So when you create your savings plan, it kind of varies um, depending on how your paychecks are or how you want to save. You either will maybe want to save a month, maybe bi-weekly, maybe every week, kind of depending on how you want to save for it. I do have a money goals and savings plan spreadsheet that I have for you available on my shop if that's something that you want to do or you can always just plan it out yourself or by paper or however you want to do it but just know that you don't always have to save the same amount every single time every single paycheck every single month just a little bit at a time as you go um, whatever you can save up until you reach your goal it might be a little less one month or it could be a little more the next month because maybe you got some extra um, extra funds coming in your way so just know that this is just for planning purposes um, just to know like each paycheck I need to save this amount before um, before the end of the year or something like that just so that you're aware of this is the amount that you need to be saving for and that you can plan accordingly in your budget. So step number four is to track your progress. And I don't mean just saving your savings progress. I think that's, of course, great. You need to be able to track how much you are saving each month to see if you're closer and closer to your goal. Um, or if you're not close to your goal, try to come up with a different game plan to get to that goal or maybe you don't even need that goal anymore so you can scratch that use the fund for that um, whatever you're saving for and put it somewhere else because so that that can totally happen um, what i also mean by tracking your progress is to also track when you are spending money in your savings account now this is why it's called revolving because you are going to be using the expense so you're going to save you're going to spend that money and then you're going to save again so you're going to it's like a continuous um uh, savings account because it's not just a one-time thing unless maybe there is just a one-time goal that you are saving for maybe a new laptop or something and then that's it but if you have expenses that are more consistent in your life then this is where it becomes more of a revolving savings account so you also want to track the amount of expenses that um, are coming out of that savings account because that is only going to help you plan for the future better have more awareness of where your money is going so that you are accountable for your spending decisions so um, yeah so step number four is to track your progress and this of course is also included in that money goals and savings plan um, spreadsheet uh, there's a savings tracker on there where um, you can also track how much you spend each month from your savings account so hopefully that'll make tracking your expenses within your revolving savings funds a lot easier for you of course you can also do this by paper I just prefer a much more digital uh, uh, tracking system now which is why I created the spreadsheet so um, anyway so that is it for this video I hope that this helped you out if you have any questions at all please feel free to leave your comments down below thank you guys so much for watching especially for watching till the end and I will talk to you in my next video have a good one guys bye